Okay. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Get your knees going toward your second toe so you're all lined up and well balanced. Sitting bones toward the floor, ribs in and up, shoulders back and down. Let your arms relax at your sides. Reach your crown of your head toward the ceiling. Just feel that stretch starting through your body. Get your ribs activated, so toward your spine and up, getting that lower back supported as well. And just relax into that, closing your eyes and focusing inward for a moment, getting that inner perspective as your focus. And keeping that inner perspective as we go through our practice, inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out for your warm-ups. Exhale, hands to your front, elbows slightly back, stretch to the front, keep your shoulders down. And then exhale, the hands behind you, just clasp the fingertips, press them down toward the floor as you lift your heart, push your head back, keep breathing, and then pivot at your hips, exhale on over. Hands coming up, head down. Move your chin around a little bit. Get that neck releasing. Lift your sitting bones, stretch the back of your legs, maybe a bit more. And then knees bent slightly, work from the bottom of the spine all the way back into the back bend, lifting your heart, shoulders down, head back. Spread your toes, no gripping, and keep lengthening your spine. And then inhale upright, release your arms, take a moment feeling that stimulation, warming your spine a little bit. And the same thing, arms at shoulder level, keep the shoulders low down. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then clasp your hands behind you the opposite way, press the fingers down and the heart high. Stretch into the back bend and then pivot, exhaling over. Arms up toward the ceiling, hip down toward your legs. Deepen as much as feels good. Spread your toes, move your arms even further toward your head for that shoulder area. And then again, knees slightly bent, coming back to the top. Chest high, shoulders down, and head back into the back bend. But remember, don't pull your head back too far, don't lift your chin. Just let the back of your neck keep stretching. And then inhale up and release. And again, just notice what is going on through your torso and body. And then arms at shoulder level again. Keep the shoulders down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them in class. Bring your arms again next to your ears and stretch. Keep everything straight for this side stretch. Push over to the side and push the foot you're leaning away from down. Keep the shoulders that going still in the direction toward your waist. Feel the ribs expand, that lateral motion along your spine. And then inhale to the top. Switch the other hand to the front, keeping your shoulders down and lean to the opposite side. Again, maximize for your body. Reach out through your head and fingertips. Don't forget to keep breathing and as you push the foot down for a little more stretch. And then inhale back upright, release your arms, and take a moment feeling those ribs a little bit more activated. Stretch your spine apart and we will twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders again, and cross the elbow system. Spread your toes out, stretch your spine apart, and exhale, turning to one side for your twist. The breath in, and exhale over. And just deepen as much as you'd like. Keep your arms next to your ears, lift your sitting bones, pull your Head toward your leg a little bit more, but keep the weight on both feet. And then slowly work your way up. Heart high, elbows back, shoulders down. And don't forget to breathe. So upper body back bend, always when you're twisted particularly. 
And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, spread your toes again, spread your spine again, and twist to the other side. Take a breath, exhale over. And again, deepen as much on this side as you'd like. See if it's the same as the other. Tuck your feet, make sure your weight is evenly distributed. Your toes are spreading. And then arms by your ears as you wind up in the twist. And again, upper body for your back bend, shoulders down, elbows back, heart high. Make sure you're not getting too much into that lower back while you're twisting. And on an inhalation, come up, exhale around to the center, extend up into your extended neck and fingertips high, shoulders still down, and feet planted evenly. Pivot forward with your arms by your ears, push the sitting bones slightly back, keep the elbows and knees straight, spine straight as well. And then just round down into round all and down. Go in deeper if you like that extra stretch with your hands behind your legs and your head coming closer. And then arms back to the center and again, winding up from the bottom of your spine to the top, shoulders back and down, coming back into mountain pose. Feel your circulation increase as you're there. Take a moment and breathe. Bring your hands to your heart. So keep the shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Look at your hands and bring them toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs as you pull them back. And again, lift your heart into that back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot on over. Again, ragdoll, knees straight. Just allow your whole body to sink deep into that forward position. Slide your hands up under your knees, palms on your shins, everything straight, elbows, knees, and back. Stretch it out, lengthening. And then exhale down, roll down. Palms together again, inhaling, hands to your heart, feel all of them all the way toward the ceiling. And another back bend, lifting your heart. Exhale. And hands to your heart into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, feeling your body and getting ready for our balance warm up. Spread your toes. Make sure your knee is going toward your second toe. So remember, you're rolling in slightly at the top of the thighs with that whole leg turning in so that those maybe big toes come a little bit toward each other because we want to make sure the ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders line up for your balance. So lift the kneecap, tighten the front of your thigh, get that back of your leg, hamstrings lengthening, shoulders back and down, core active. So get that lower back supported with the ribs toward your spine and up. Feel that lengthening and control. And then with the other leg, again, rolling in slightly so you don't cross over, bring that leg up as far as it wants to come. So hold on under or around, pull it towards your heart as much as you'd like. And when you're stable, work your ankle both ways. And flex and point, straightening it out and release. Sink evenly into both feet, feel that stability. Get ready for balancing on the other leg. So again, get that alignment all, making sure your bones are supporting you. Get those core activating actions going for your low back support. Reach the crown up, bring the other leg up. So remember, balance challenge, keep that foot slightly lower. Otherwise, bring it up as high as you'd like. And when you're stable, working with that ankle to keep it flexible. And flex and point to straighten it out before you release. Take a breath. Exhale that balance stress. And again, bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands coming up. Another nice little back bend. This time, let's swan up. So bring your arms out, palms toward the floor, right at shoulder level as you pivot at your hips. 
into that parallel to the floor position, stretch it out. Exhale into ragdoll. Pull in deeper if you like. Get that back, getting a good stretch. And then arms back to the front. Straighten your knees. Pull the kneecaps towards your thighs. Straighten your back. Bring the arms out at shoulder level, straight out to the sides. Pivot up. Keep those arms at shoulder level. Those shoulders should still be toward your waist as you get to mountain up. Yeah, mountain pose. Arms straight out to the sides. Reach those fingertips wide. Keep your hips where they are and push to one side. Get those ribs opening a little bit more. Back to the center. Over to the other side. Back to the center. Keep those shoulders down. Turn the palms up. Look overhead as you bring the hands together. And exhale them to your heart and to your sides. Take a moment there, feel your body. And one more balance practice. So spread your toes on your favorite balance foot. Remember, start at the good side so you can educate the second side. Get the knee going the correct direction, straighten it, get everything stacked and supported. Get your core activated, sink into that foot. Bring the other foot up just slightly. And then lean forward and see if you can hold under your foot. Take a moment there, find your stability. Pull that heel in, straighten up maybe a little bit more. Take a moment there, breathing. Exhale, tension. And then release that foot back into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale any balance stress. Feel what worked. Improve it if you need to for our other foot. So again, spread it out, stack and support, get core activated, shoulders relaxing to the back, and again, bringing your foot up. Just a little, get your stability, lean forward, see if you can reach under that foot. Find your stability there, stay there if that's good, or pull it in a little bit more and straighten up a little bit further. Breathe. Exhale any tension, just let it work through your body. Out and in if you need to. Breathe, straighten up maybe a little bit more. Feel those toes working. And when you're ready, release. Back in mountain pose, exhale that balance stress. Stretch your spine apart. Shoulders down, and just let's go a little twisty into our windmill. So just move your hands one side to the other and follow them along. Keep that crown reaching up. Keep breathing. Exhale all the tension. And relax. Shoulders coming around, up, back, and down. And back into mat pose. Then turn your feet a little bit out. We'll do our pelvic tilt since we haven't done that recently. So toes a little out. So you're turning the whole leg so that the knees are still going towards the second toes. Sitting bones toward the floor. Now we're going to bend the knees just slightly toward the toes. Hands above the knees. Remember, no pressure into those knees or legs. And then straighten your spine. Sitting bones going one leg right on the other way. Just get it long and straight. And then inhale, bringing the chest forward and the sitting bones back, coming into that back bend, shoulder blades towards your waist, looking to the front. And again, no pressure in those hands, just keep the shoulders right above the toes. And then shoulders right above the toes, and as you to hook the sitting bones down and forward and pull those ribs in, Getting a nice C shape as you look down between your feet. Inhale, sitting bones back, chest forward, back bending. 
Exhaling, rounding into that forward bend, tucking the sitting bones down into the front. And a couple times, inhaling into the back bend and exhaling into the forward bend. And remember, no pressure in those knees, just positioning your shoulders over your chest. And then the next time you're forward, just take a moment to pause and then stand back up into mountain pose, toes straight ahead, everything realigned, hands to your heart. And again, looking at your hands, bring them up. Let's swan dive again forward, so arms coming to shoulder level, pivot at your hips, stretch it out parallel to the floor, and then drop in red dog. Hands up under your, under your knees on your shins, stretch it out in that halfway up stretch. And then bend your knees and come to the floor into our child pose transition. Hips to your heels, hands next to your feet, forehead down. Take a breath. Just relax. And then inhaling, come up to a seated position in the staff position. Sitting bones behind you. Feet pressing out, toes pulling back. Oh, let's just go into a comfortable cross-legged position. We'll do a little breathing. So holiday season. So we want to make sure that we are able to de-stress when we need to. So creatures of habit, switch your legs around. Get those sitting bones slightly behind you, just allowing everything to stack and support through your spine. Core always activated, shoulders down. And take a moment to breathe. So we're gonna bring the hand in front of your nose, right hand in front of your nose and put the thumb on one nostril. And then exhale and inhale. And then release the thumb and put the pinky finger, little finger on the opposite nostril. And then exhale and inhale. And we'll just keep doing that at your own pace. Thumb on, exhaling, inhaling. Little finger, exhaling, inhaling. And just keep going, allowing that calming breath, alternate nostril breathing, to have that relaxing effect. And then the next time you exhale, just release the hand back to your lap. And take a few moments just focusing inward, feeling that calmness, still breathing long and deep, letting all the tension go. And then returning your awareness to the moment. Switch your legs around so that we balance our body a little bit more as we're in our seated position. Shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling. And we'll work the arms and shoulders a little bit. So bring one arm out, palm down toward the floor. Pull hand, that hand back toward you with the other hand so the back of your wrist gets a good stretch. And then pull the fingers back, push the heel of the palm away. Breathe into it, just relax and keep your shoulders toward your waist. And then bring the hand parallel to the floor, push each finger one at a time, feeling that stretch across the back of your hand. And when you've done them all, pull the fingers back going the other way. Feeling the palm get a little more stretched. And whenever you're done, spread your fingers out. 
Roll the hand, fingers back toward you, push the heel of the palm away, get that finger palm area pressing out, and then shake it. And release. Feel that stimulation all along that whole arm. And let's switch our legs again and do the other arm. Shoulders down, arm parallel to the floor. Pull the hand down, get that wrist opening along the back of the wrist. Shoulders still down towards your waist, crown reaching up, core activated, supporting your spine. Pull the fingers back, pushing the heel of the palm away. Feel the difference. Notice the whole arm is working. Keep releasing any tension. And then bring the hand parallel to the floor and spread the fingers. Work each finger, pulling down with your other hand. Just gently, no need to crack knuckles or anything. And then fingers coming back when you're done with the pushing down. And whenever you've pulled each of them back, get your hand parallel to the floor again. Spread those fingers really, really, really wide. And again, shake it out. Oh, we forgot to pull it back. That's okay. You can do it again. Pull it back. Spread everything. And then shake it. <laughs> and again, feel that whole arm a little bit more stimulated. And shoulders back and down. So bring your legs out to staff position or else just cross your legs the other way and bring your arms out to T position. Bring the palms up, spread your fingers, and some circles. So keep reaching out through the fingertips, up through the crown, keep the core active, keep those feet pressing out with the toes pulling back as you're in that seated position. And then small circles, still at shoulder level. And then stop. Turn the palms down and circle the other way. So again, start with those nice big circles, getting those shoulders, getting a little bit more activation. And smaller circles. And stop, stretch out, shoulder blades down, crown high, core active, fingertips reaching out. And release. Take a moment and breathe. Move those shoulders around a little bit, get some more circulation going there. Breathing, releasing any tension. Take a moment to reach the crown toward the ceiling, keep that core activated. Bring the bottoms of your feet together into butterfly, knees toward the sides, clasp your hands under your toes, and just pull in. Just relax through the inner legs. And then bring your hands behind you, right under your shoulders. Fingertips or palms down, whatever works for you. And then just a little pressure into the hands, fingers, whatever, and see if those knees come maybe a little further toward the floor. Take a breath. Just relax them. And then release your hands. Hold your knees and lift them. Extend the legs out. And bring your feet to the end of the mat into staff position. Activate that core so we can roll slowly down onto our backs and allow your body to sink into the surface beneath you. As we get into that reclined integration, just take a moment letting those shoulders drop, sitting bones toward your heels. Bring your arms to T position. Take your thumbs inside your palms, wrap just a gentle fist around. One fist down, the other one up, arms straight out from your shoulders. And then turn the fist the other way, one up and one down. And just keep rotating them, one up and one down. Allowing your body just to sink into that surface beneath you as you move those lower arms and hands one up and one down. Bringing the elbows into it, noticing how that's working. 
And then the upper arms as well, really rolling the whole arm. And then finally, of course, we're going to get those shoulders more activated. So as you roll the fist down, that shoulder comes up and the opposite way as it rolls the other way. So one shoulder's up, one is down, really working all the way into the middle of your back. And then releasing the shoulders and releasing the upper arms and the lower arms. And finally, those fists. And just let the hands go, palms up. Take a moment and breathe, shoulders dropping. We'll teach our bent knee twist just briefly. So sitting bones towards your heels, draw the heels in near your hips, feet flat. Hands, palms up or down, your choice. And then bring your feet up. Knees right above your hips. Roll the knees over toward one side, turning your head toward the opposite side for that twist. Breathing, keeping the shoulders down, knees going for that lower back twist, head turning for the neck area twist, and shoulders down for that mid back twist. Just take a breath and exhale. And then heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. And going the other way. Knees toward the opposite side, head turning toward the arm behind your neck. And again, just deepen into that twist as much as your body wants on this side for today. Deep breaths. Exhale tension, just let it go. Relaxing into your position. And again, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Bring your feet to the floor, sliding them out, and bring your hands near your sides, palms up, into corpse position for our relaxation. Deep breath, let your body go. So just allow that surface beneath you to support you, allowing your body just to soften and sink. Relax your core. Lots of balance work together. Relax your shoulders. Lots of work through the arms and hands as well. Let that upper body and torso go. Soften your legs. You know, roll the toes toward each other. And then just let them relax. Take a moment to breathe. Move your chin around, jaw around. Soften your face. Exhale, just let your body grow heavy. Allow it to sink into that surface beneath you. Let the stress go. Let the tension out. Just allow your body to release and relax into that earth support. As you breathe more deeply, let your body sink. Just allow your awareness to float Allowing your awareness to release your body completely from your thoughts. As other thoughts come to your mind, let them go as well. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the content of the thoughts flow away as easily as your breath. Thoughts flowing in and out. Body sinking, mind floating, and awareness releasing both your body and your mind. And just allow that awareness to focus inward on that peace within. Let the peace fill your body, fill your mind, being peace.
And if you can keep relaxing longer to do, feel free to do so. As long as you have the time. It's time to reactivate for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy into rooms with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more freely, allow your body to move gently, however it feels good for you today. And as you breathe more deeply, stretch more completely, get ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation. And you're sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, and draw your knees up toward your chest. Wrap your arms around, let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And as you're done with that appreciation and hug, bring your head and feet to the floor, or roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.